What do I think of Eric Weinstein? I think he followed me on Twitter uh, for a while. Um, but then smart people, sometimes they just can't handle all the heck shelling. And so they might like me for a lot of my ideas, but then the heck shelling is just too damn much for them. And so primarily my main uh, Twitter account, you know, you've either got to mute me or enjoy the hex because man, I'm talking about it. So his brother follows me. Um, and they're both real smart dudes and they're both in the intellectual dark, dark web. And I'd love to chat with them on live stream because we all have similar interests. Um, you know, Eric Weinstein's on team Peter Thiel. He's, uh, he works for Peter Thiel's uh, investment fund and Peter Thiel's into longevity and Peter Thiel's into crypto and I'm in longevity and I'm in crypto. And so we got, and he talks about making progress in the real world. And I talk about making progress in the real world. So we're singing a lot of the same tune. Um, you know, I don't know of anyone. If I think of political alignment, with people in the world. I can't think of anyone that I'm more politically aligned with than Vitalik Buterin, Peter Thiel, Eric Weinstein, Intellectual Dark Web, his brother, Brett. I mean, we're all kind of trying to push the same narrative. Now there are differences, you know? So like uh, Jordan Peterson, he's on point with a lot of stuff, but he's wrong about the religion thing. Uh, you know, Peter Thiel, he's on point with a lot of stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about Palantir. I think, I think Peter Thiel's a Christian as well. And, uh, he was also a Trump supporter. I'm not sure about some of these things, right? Like these are, <laughs> there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. So, I mean, would I classify myself as a Trump supporter? Probably not. You know, I think I'd make a better president, but you know. Um, I think Elon Musk could make a better president. I, I could list a lot of people I think would make better presidents. That being said, he's not doing that bad. I mean, as a television personality that doesn't actually build buildings and just licenses his name and, you know, has had gaffes like talking about grabbing pussies. You can't do that shit and get elected, but he did it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's weird. Um, <laughs> you know, walking, you know, if you have a, if you buy a beauty pageant and then you're making a mission to like walk around looking at the girls in the back room, that's creepy as shit, man. That's creepy. So, I mean, but he, but he DR, like he made good progress with North Korea. I mean, the guy could be doing a worse job. Some of the ideas are damn dumb. Like, Hey, Mexico is going to pay for a wall. Shit like that. Mexico ain't paying for the wall. So it's, it's hard to say, man. It's like, I mean, would I vote for Trump over Hillary? Man, I'm not a fan of Hillary. <laughs> I'd vote for Ron Paul over fucking everybody, mostly. Uh, so it's like, uh, I remember how the hell I got in this question. How did we get here? Can't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Intellectual Dark Web, Eric Weinstein. Yeah, I mean, look. We all want the same stuff. We want a better society, a better world where people get higher and better outcomes. And, uh, we're trying to find ways to achieve that. So, you know, Peter Thiel's got the Thiel, uh, fellowship of which Vitalik Buterin was a receipt, uh, a recipient where he got a hundred thousand dollars to skip uh, going to college and start a business. And that worked out fabulously. And so, you know, Peter's going out into the world, published a book zero to one, very well received. Um, damn genius. You know, Vitalik Buner is smarter than me. Peter Thiel is smarter than me. Uh, I respect these two men greatly. Most people are not smarter than me. <laughs> I'm a smart motherfucker, but these guys are smarter. Uh, I'd love to team up with them and, and make the world a better place, you know? And if, and if we don't team up, we're, we're still making the better world, uh, the, pl the world a better place separately because we care about the same stuff and we're kind of working the same angles, right? Vitalik started a cryptocurrency. Peter Thiel's invested in multiple cryptocurrencies. I started a cryptocurrency. We're all trying to promote longevity. I, I wrote the book Sci Vive. Vitalik gave like $3 million to the Sense Foundation. Peter Thiel's given not, who knows how many millions to the Sense Foundation and started longevity.vc. And uh, like, there's just, there's nobody living it better. 
crypto and longevity is the best shit that we got. And then if it wasn't this preventing extinction level events and, uh, you know, machine learning is probably like second best stuff. 